rag crease in <laughs> My do rag crease. It's better. It's better this way. It's better this way. This one, this one. The one that you said uh about. Mm. <laughs> oh god. Because it got boobs on it. Welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and it's Monday morning, and we're back in uniform because I'm supposed to be going back on post so I can finish out processing the installation, then the unit, because your girl getting out of the army, okay? Um, I've got my installation clear and papers, this big packet of everything that I may or may not need here, but I needed to stop at, hold on y'all, because I'm trying to get my life together over here too, but I needed to stop at the management office on post to talk to them about <clears throat> Ooh. Is that true? <laughs> it is. I needed to talk to them about um fixing so for whatever reason the blinds in Mia's room they're falling down for whatever reason. Obviously the kids didn't touch them because they're not here yet. It looks like at one point they kind of patched it up, like did a bad job patching it up. Like somebody probably pulled them down before, they did a bad job patching it up and now it's just failing again out of nowhere so um yeah um i wanted to talk to them sorry i'm getting distracted but i wanted to talk to them about that and i also need a memo because i am out processing because me and trey we plan on staying on post for another few years um but he's going to be taking over so then he'll be like the main person i guess on the lease as of right now it's me because i outrank him but when everything switch it's going to be him so i didn't realize that i still needed something saying that i'm still going to be staying on post i don't know i didn't know we needed something saying that we're still going to be staying on post but i guess we do so basically i just need a memo saying that i just need a memo from office saying that i'm not leaving so i don't know anyway um yeah they're not here they don't come here until 10 o'clock they should have been open at eight o'clock but they have a sign on their door saying they'll be back at 10. And I don't understand why. That's irritating to me. I mean, if you have something to do, you have something to do. So that means I won't be finished um, out processing today because honestly, the way some of these civilians operate, and if you know, you know, I be having a straight attitude by the end of the day having to deal with a lot of them. I mean, I don't understand why these civilians that work on these posts are supposed to be working for. These soldiers are so damn rude and they don't care because they know they're not gonna get fired and it drives me absolutely up the wall it drives me insane and the most the, the part that's the saddest the most saddest part is most of them are retirees most of them did so many years in the military yet they decide to treat the people that's in the military like shit like i don't know so um yeah ain't no way i'm about to go because I'm, I'm still about to go ahead and go on post right now because i can get some things done but i'm about to go ahead and go on post start out processing or i'll process as many places as i can and it's a good chance that the office isn't going to even be open because these civilians i'm telling you they set their own hours and they be taking breaks as if they on vacation is the weirdest thing and i do not understand it no no i don't understand i wish they were just open when they're supposed to be but they're not so this is just me complaining about it yeah but that's what i'm about to go ahead and do other than that i need to get some breakfast i think i want to get hash browns from mcdonald's y'all already know that's my go-to in the morning when i don't know what it is that i want and when i don't want to eat too much so i think that's what i'm about to do i'm about to go ahead and get hash browns from mcdonald's with the orange juice and head on post y'all the other thing is i got a new camera i got a new camera um i got the sony zv1 and i got it with the creators kit so it came with this little grip thing the little grip tripod holder or whatever you want to call it 
it came with that so i'm super excited about it so far i'm liking it a lot the quality looks really good i don't know um as far as compared to what i'm on now i don't I don't know I do like that the color is a little bit more true to what I'm seeing like with my eyeballs versus this camera it usually is a little bit brighter or a little bit more washed out so I do like it so this is the camera the Sony ZV-1 and then attached to it is the little grip and you have all of the little manual remotes, the start button, pictures, and all that good stuff here. And then, so this one obviously, y'all seen this camera before, but this one obviously folds out to the side like this. And the other thing that I really like is that's how you turn it on. Like if I close it, the camera's off. If I open this, it just automatically turns on. So I really like that. But like I said, the what I'm seeing on this camera is a little bit true to color versus this. Like this, I feel like this is a little bit more vibrant. Um, and then it picks up a lot of the light, like all of the extra lighting, like here around like my hand is picking up a lot of the extra light, like the light that's coming through the window, it picks up a lot of the extra lighting. This camera don't seem to do that. And so, like I said, it's a little bit true to color a little bit more truer to color and I like that a lot and I don't think I, I think I have the settings on the Sony as just the intelligent something I don't know I'm used to using Canon's this one I just have it on the video mode and that's it it's automatic I just turn it on and use it and I think that's what I want to be doing with this camera so I haven't really messed with the settings what am I recording in um is it 4k i don't even know if i'm recording in 4k on this camera or not but yeah i like it a lot so far i'm liking this camera and right there you should have saw like a little side by side comparison on what it is that i am seeing when i'm looking in this camera versus this camera over here so i, I just, just really, really like that, that. oh my, my gosh, gosh. I, I like, like that, that a lot. That, that is, is so nice. nice. Um, yeah, yeah, so, so the, the thing, thing is, I ended up buying this camera because I told myself I was going to, you know what, I want to set this up here. If it will let me. Let me see. I want to set this right here. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of at the same distance. All right, I'm gonna record these at the same time. Anyway, <clears throat> um, what was I saying? I feel like this, is this shot wider than this one? I don't know, I feel like, I don't know. Yeah, cause I can see more on this, on the Sony than the Canon. Cause I can see like this little thing here in the canon but i can't see it in the sony and then yeah i don't know anyway so anyway um i bought the sony zv1 because i wanted to just see what it's like like honestly everybody raves about this camera and i just wanted to see the quality comparison but originally i wanted the g7x mark three so right now on my canon i have the g7x mark two and i really really like this camera a lot i love that the camera flips up i'm so used to looking up instead of sideways so i really like that about this camera but i wanted a little bit more quality and i wanted the opportunity to film in 4k which that's what i'm able to do with the sony because when i went they did not have the sony the g7x mark three because it's sold out everywhere it's like i guess it got in really popular and it's like sold out all over the place um so yeah i spent almost a thousand dollars on the sony and that was with the oh yeah what is that no it's fine um I spent like a thousand dollars on the Sony and that was like with the SD card and stuff like that. But honestly, I think I want to take the SD card back because something, I don't know, it's not able to transfer, like using my little SD card reader, it's not able to transfer onto my iPad into my actual um, 
what is it into my actual photo like photo folder or whatever on my iPad like I'm able to do with the Canon so I'm hoping that's just a thing with the sim cards because I don't want to do all the extra craziness trying to like get the footage off the camera okay I need this to be easier not harder um, so that was one of the things that I am kind of frustrated about currently I did order another SD card off of Amazon just to kind of see if they're just to kind of see if there's going to be like a difference if it's going to be a little bit easier so yeah um what else oh so i told myself i was going to wait about 15 days you know to determine whether or not i wanted to keep this camera and it's only been a few days and i already decided like i want to keep it i want i want to keep it it's, it's a really good camera it has a really good quality i like it a lot and i want to keep it so i ended up ordering a bunch of little accessories off of amazon last night for the camera and yeah obviously those didn't come yet but when those come i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys but i just wanted to let y'all know that i got a new camera and i'm so excited about it now as far as these clips here that you're seeing i'm gonna go ahead and have both because i have both cameras recording right now so i'm gonna try to put them both like side by side so you guys can actually see the comparison and stuff like that probably go back and forth with the audio so you guys can like hear the audio and stuff like that but yeah this is my new camera and i'm super excited about it but that's enough it's about 909 now i thought about sitting and just going back home and waiting until 10 but honestly i really need to start out processing some things and go get some food and i just got a lot of stuff to do so i'm gonna go ahead and go and i'm gonna see y'all later hopefully i'm not in a super bad mood but i'm gonna see y'all later anybody has seen brianna's vehicle a black honda accord going between jacksonville and alabama ah! in the last two weeks to also go <laughs> the right way when brianna first learned that she was an official suspect oh that's so good i'm sorry but you don't have that kind of reaction if you're not guilty of something all right y'all so i just got on post I actually just put up to my company <sighs> I gotta come in here real quick because I have to do. I feel like on my clearance papers, there's somewhere that my unit needs to sign, but I also need them to do a records review. I just go to the transportation office, dental facility, medical records. Wait. What the heck? Oh, okay. I was about to say, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I cleared that already, but I know it was something else. Um, and there's a bunch of stuff that I can knock out real quick. But yeah, I tried to clear someplace on post. It was one of the places, but they said that my SGLI and stuff like that is going to expire before my last day in the army. So I have to come and get a records with you so I can go ahead and renew that and then go and clear. We'll try to clear them again. And I think SGLI, I think that's it. A records review in the SGOV or whatever I hope that's it but um yeah so I'm about to go ahead and do that real quick and then head back over to the soldier support center and finish our process all right so I just pulled up to the soldier support center and I have to go into the SFL tab so I can make my appointments um I'm hoping the USO is open because I got some papers and stuff I have to print off y'all the brim of my hat looks so stupid i haven't had this thing on in so long <laughs> and it looks so dumb but yeah so just uso sfo tap then there's about two places i'm going to try to clear while i'm in here and then we're going to see how that goes so hopefully it just don't take too long right now it is 11 46 so let's see how long it takes me to get up out of here all right y'all yep i'm done for today <laughs> I'm done for today. I guess, um, positive notes. Oh, my car's not going. Positive notes. I was able to get an appointment actually tomorrow for my capstone. I'm so glad I'm on terminal leave because, y'all, they told me June 13th would have been the soonest appointment that I would have been able to get if I wasn't on terminal leave. So I was like, oh no. She's like, when does your, bleh. she's like, when does your leave start? I'm like, I'm on terminal leave right now. And she's like, oh well that changes things so I get to be a walk-in so I'm going to be here tomorrow before eight o'clock um yeah but other than that yeah I'm about to go ahead and head home I'm about to head home <laughs> y'all look who I found oh. look who I found <laughs> oh, 
right out what here. What you doing so. in there? Nothing? I'm about to walk up in there. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. Ugh. A whole apartment over there. Let me see. Which one of these is yours? This one. I'm so, I was so irritated at these people because they saw me. Like, you saw me order teriyaki chicken only for them to say, oh, we don't have any teriyaki sauce at all. So I'm like, like, none? Like, you don't have one, like, just one so somewhere? So they said they was making it when you, you ordered it, or? No, like the the teriyaki sauce come in this these little packets. Oh yeah, yeah. oh okay, okay. But this was the one that they had as a display, and I was like, what can? He was no. So this oh, is the one that they have. Man. Yeah, and I was like, what well, can I get that one? And they're like, oh no, that's the one that we're out of. I'm like, I know, like this one right here. Can I get this one specifically? And he's like, uh, okay, <laughs> just need something to put in my rice. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Ugh, I'm about to go home and chill. It's dark over here in these parts. See, look how, oh, hold on. I want to I wanna see some real quick, cause that's so dark looking. I want to see what this one gonna look like. If I have it in the same direction. Yeah, see this one just gonna be so much better. Trying to get a haircut. I'm looking crazy, bro. We're we'll going to play the games outside for now. I'm looking crazy on this side. I'm going to stop playing games. I'm going to play Thursday, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a little dark. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy the rest of your day at work. Yeah. We'll, we'll see how long I'm going to be here. Get these papers. We'll get this paper, one paper or something. One paper. I mean, I was able to process three things. Out process three things, so well, all, the, all the places are in the business, so I guess should be fine. I just don't be like, Oh, we need this certificate, oh, we need this print off. Like, yeah, right. <sighs> let me go and try to get this memo from housing so I can clear housing. Mm -mm -mm. Sheesh, it's so much. Yeah, Bye, green, drink. <laughs> <laughs> green drinks. Hey y'all, what's up? It is a little bit later. Obviously, it's not that much later. It is 1439, so it's not too late in the day. I mean, I don't know. I don't know when the last time I was on this camera. Anyway, I'm outside, I'm in a car. Obviously, I'm not in uniform anymore. I'm changed. I decided that I am done working for the rest of the day. That's the reason I am not in my uniform. And why do it says I have three text messages? Um, who texted me? Oh, nothing too crazy so um, just to catch y'all up real quick I did go to the office so I can see about getting that memo and stuff that I needed so I can clear housing when I go into clear tomorrow and I'm waiting for an inspection apparently I have to have a pre-inspection as if I'm moving out but I'm not really moving out they just want to see if anything was damaged in the house which obviously is not I did make the work order for Mia's uh, blinds in her window so they're also supposed to be coming out to fix that but yeah, they said that they're going to be out between 1400 and 1600 So I'm just waiting. Like I said, it's 1440 so I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, um, y'all, I'm in a car because I got a car mount. Y'all, I paid about $45 for this car mount. And honestly, this thing was expensive. I wasn't expecting the base to be this big though. Look at how big that is. I was thinking it was gonna be like something small, but this thing is it's kind of big. I got the car mount because I showed y'all this earlier, but I got the Sony ZV-1. I got a new camera and I'm so excited about it. Y'all, I am really excited about this camera. I was doing some more looking at it earlier and it just looks so good like it just looks so good and you know what's crazy right now looking at the footage right now on my Canon it's looking real crispy right now like I don't know what's up maybe it's trying to show off because I know I got a new camera but it's looking real nice but um yeah it's something about the color on the Sony I just like it a lot I like that a lot. So, um, hold on, let me close this back. So, real quick to show y'all the camera, because I showed y'all the camera when it was on the little grip, but this is the Sony ZV-1. I got it in black. 
and then all the buttons and stuff is so different like this is so different like when i when i go to record i'd be pushing buttons back here not supposed to be pushing those because the record button is up here then you have um the microphone you have this little piece that you put the little dead cat so the wind don't be blowing all in it and stuff like that and then you can open this and it automatically turns on y'all so that just look like i don't know if y'all can see obviously y'all can't but i'm gonna show y'all it looks so good that looks so good i hear all over the place mm -hmm. I like that a lot oh my gosh yeah and one of the reasons I wanted to get a new camera is because I really want to start taking my YouTube channel a little bit more serious like I reach a lot of the goals and stuff that I wanted to hit on my Instagram but I'm not seeing the same growth on my YouTube channel oh I'm not seeing the same growth on my YouTube channel and I'm going to assume that's because obviously I'm not as consistent as I am on Instagram so I'm trying to bring that energy over to YouTube right and one of the other things is obviously I'm starting nursing school and I want to vlog my entire journey. I want to vlog my whole entire journey and I want to bring y'all along with me. And honestly, at this point, I feel like because of the way I do my YouTube channel is not necessarily like, how can I put it? I don't intend on making my YouTube channel a business right now if that makes it like it's still a hobby it's still something that i just do for fun i genuinely like making my content i genuinely just like putting my content out there and so that's why i was a little bit stressed out comparing myself to other people like oh my god i really need to hone in on this i really need to do that i really need to do this and thinking to myself with the vlogs and stuff that i've been filming the content and stuff that i've been filming is just not good enough so i never post it and so then i have all these gaps between when i'm uploading because i feel like it's just not good enough and i'll be throwing out so much footage but now now I'm not about to be doing that. If I have it and I like it and it's a memory of mine that I want to remember, a mindset of mine that I may want to look back on because things have changed, I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it. And I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where that goes. But because of that reason, I wanted to um, get a new camera. I just wanted the quality to be a little bit better. As Like I said before, I was having trouble uploading, um, well, transferring from my camera onto the iPad because y'all know I edit everything on my iPad all my vlogs everything I edit on my iPad or like for my reels and stuff a lot of those I edit just in the app but yeah we gonna have to figure that out because what's that we're gonna have to figure it out because I I don't I assigned to okay my intentions wasn't to make this harder for myself but easier a lot of people complain about the Canon the G7X I don't know why because I think it's a really really good camera a lot of people complain like the focus yeah the focus can be slow um, it can be def it can definitely lag sometimes I'll have to tap on what it is that I wanted to focus on if I do something like this like put this up here so it can focus and then put it back down sometimes I have to tap my face or when I do put something up there sometimes I have to tap it um, but usually I don't have a problem with how slow it moves i mean the sony is definitely a little bit faster when it comes to switching between the two like the moment i put it up there boom it's like focused almost immediately i don't see what in the world i i don't have that big because look at this y'all put it up there focus put it back down focus put it up there focus put it back down focus it's not a big deal to me like that's fast enough for me i don't know if you can see the quality of this um clip is really good for me so i don't know i don't complain about it at all i just wanted something that i can shoot in 4k so that's the only thing is i have the canon zv i'm just canon zv what <laughs> i have the canon g7x mark ii and the mark ii cannot film in 4k that's the reason why I wanted to upgrade to the G7X Mark III, but now because the camera is so popular, it's just out all over the place. And if it's not out, it is um, the gray, the um, black and gray one. I want all black, and they are doubling and tripling the price just for the camera because of its popularity right now. And I just, mm -mm, I refuse. I'm not about to pay over fourteen hundred dollars for this camera because it's popular like no i'm not doing that so that's why i ended up just getting the um 
Sony ZV-1. And I want to be able to vlog in my car a little bit better than I've been doing. So I ended up also getting this. And that's why I'm in a car. That was a long way of me saying that's why I'm in a car. So um, I'm about to go ahead and put all of this stuff together. Because the way I was trying to figure it out, I'm so glad that the camera, the viewfinder swings out this way. Because with the G7X and the camera flipping up, it was always hard to find something to reach um, where I'm able to have it just sitting there in the car but with this I feel like I'm gonna do perfectly fine with it because it swings out and I should have enough room over the camera where it sits there and it's not bumping up against the glass if that makes any sense so let me go ahead and try to install this real quick and we'll see how it goes but real quick about this tripod well car mount this cost me about $45 Trey had one similar to this, if not the exact same one. But when I say this thing is heavy duty, it is so good because he would stick it to the side of his truck and stuff like that and drive and, and you know, make his um, truck content. But when I say this thing is heavy duty, it sticks to almost anything. Um, like it sticks to the wall. It sticks to obviously the glass. It sticks to the doors. It sticks to anything. That's why I like it. So yeah, let me go ahead and try to install this and see if this is gonna work for what I need it to work for. Okay, y'all, I'm back. <laughs> I um, The lady for the inspection came, so we just finished the inspection. Um, let me see, what did they say he needed? His LES, beers, and orders. So that's all we need um, for Trey, and hopefully I can get that memo so I can go ahead and start like actually clear. But let me go ahead and install this on how I want it anyway. Um, so oh, geez. I wanted this to kind of sit like here. So you want to push this button in Ooh. all the way until you can't see the red anymore so then that's like that's on on there right and then I was hoping that my camera would be able to sit on it like this <gasps> and that will be perfect okay let me see so Hold on y'all, I need to, oh wait, 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 I miscalculated something. Hold on. All right, hold up. So let me go ahead and tighten this. Oh, I want it to sit like this. Like that? Okay, so I want it to sit like that. Let me just see, let me tighten this and see what happens. Is that tightening or loosening? Oh, it's shifting. Okay. Oh, I think that's perfect. Hold on, wait a second, because I want it down a little bit more. Like that. Oh, that is so perfect. Look at that, okay. Okay, and then if I gotta make sure it's tight, um, let me think, let me see, I think that's perfect, should I put it over this way a little bit more? So if it's two of us, I can just push it over this way a little bit more, and then if it's just me, I can turn it this way a little bit more, <gasps> and then if I put my steering wheel down, <gasps> okay and then if it's just me i can obviously do one of those y'all i'm so excited about this right now okay okay i'm about to go ahead and take a little drive real quick around the road as far as the camera that's what i'm working with because i wanted it off to the side right but it's still able to see me because i want my vision clear obviously but look at it it's perfect it's like out of the way and I don't know if y'all can see me in the viewfinder but that's perfect 
Oh, that's so perfect. All right, I'm about to go ahead and take a quick little drivey drive around the corner real quick and see how the bouncing and all that stuff is with this uh, camera. Who knows what it's gonna look like. I'll see after I um, somehow put it into my camera, but we gonna see. Just a quick little drive. Ooh. Cause that's gonna go on for some time. Y'all, I'm so excited about this camera. I feel like I wanna bring it down a little bit more though. Hmm, let me let me stop and do that real quick. Alright. Because as far as the stability goes, I think it's doing what I need it to do. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, I think we're going to see. Um, I am loving this right now. I am loving this right now. Let me go ahead and actually watch what I'm doing because the kids are finally getting out of school. It's 15, 13, so obviously the kids are getting out of school. Y'all, I'm so excited about this camera. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, okay. Hold on, where am I going? <laughs> I'm supposed to, how did I, wait, how did I end up here? I hope this is like actually stable and it's not like bouncing around. I hope it sounds okay too. That's another thing. I hope it sounds okay. I cannot wait to go and look at this footage on my iPad so I can actually see what it's going to look like. Post-production. <laughs> All right, let me hurry up and get back home. It's too much going on right now. Kids is letting out. Parents going to pick them up. They walking and running and riding bikes all in the streets like they invincible. Mm-mm-mm. It's a nice day out though. It was super cool earlier and I was like, just really sunny. That was so crazy. How did I end up over? I don't understand what just happened. Did I like, which way did I go? That was so weird. I'm hoping, cause the, the way this camera, I don't have the product. I don't have the product. Um, why are we doing that right now? I don't have the product presentation thing on, so it shouldn't be an issue. But one of the things that I was noticing um, from other people's videos is when they have their hand like on a steering wheel, on the steering wheel like this, it would like focus on their hand and like back and forth on their face and stuff like that. So I'm hoping. That's not the issue here. All right, and that was it. That was a little test run. Okay, so I just did the little test run. I'm gonna go ahead and try to include that clip before this and see if I'm able to like transfer it properly. But so far, so good. It looked to me, it looks super smooth. I can't wait to see what it looks like. I can't see. Uh, I can't wait to see what it looks like. I can't wait to see what it sounds like. Everything seems like it's going the way it should. But now um, I'm about to go ahead and go in the house and actually chill, actually chill out a little bit. I'm gonna see y'all later. I'm so excited about this. Oh my gosh, who do I think I am? <laughs>
Thank you. What was your drink? It was the brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. I wish you knew. I cured it before I even yelled this from you. Thank you so much. You too. Thank you. Hey y'all, what's up? It is the next day, obviously. I think we already been here, right? No, we haven't. It is Tuesday. <laughs> y'all, it's Tuesday. It is 14.49 on a Tuesday and I am just finishing up out processing for the day. Um, Yeah, it wasn't too much craziness going on, but I will say I'm once again irritated because y'all, they messed up my orders again. Yeah. Yeah, again, so I have to go and get my orders amended again. They ended up putting the wrong units in UIC on my orders. So now I have to go and get it fixed to my current, um, my current incorrect units. I don't care what unit you out processing me out of, just out process me somewhere so I can be done with this at this point. I'm so over it. Um, yeah, but I think what I'm gonna do, cause I'm almost done with my out processing sheets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until I sign as much stuff as I possibly can before I go and get those orders amended because I don't want any delays. I don't want any holdups with me actually doing the actual out processing because to be completely honest, the or like the the unit on the orders doesn't matter. Like if and if they need an updated or correct orders, at least I'll be able to give it to them. I don't have to wait another week before I can finish out processing. So I'm gonna wait and out process as much as I possibly can with the orders that I have right now, and then we're gonna go from there. So yeah, it's been that was very 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 irritating to me very irritating what i'm doing right now i'm sitting outside of the px i'm about to run into the px and see if there's anything in there that i need to grab i'm still looking for a pair of shoes for nursing school haven't found them yet i know which pair i want but i'm thinking i might have to run around like to the mall um to some of these little shoe departments and stuff like that to find the shoes that i'm looking for it would be nice if they just get them here at the px but i doubt that that's going to happen so yeah, I wanna see if there's any fragrances that I may wanna sniff around. Um, I don't plan on buying any, but just I just wanna see what they have there. And then I'm gonna grab me some food from Charlie's, probably an old fashioned um, Philly cheese and some loaded fries and then head home. Cause you call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny Yeah. No longer blinded I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awake me from death God, I need you I'm more walking by the flesh, that's when I leave you God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone, No, I'm a child of God I don't wanna go to Godly way, close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I don't wanna go to Cali way Close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I know you know me well I feel invisible until you tell me all right Y'all, I'm just leaving the low. my ad. I'm leaving the PX now. Um, about to go ahead and head home. I ended up stopping at Kidoba and just got me and some food from Kidoba. So I'm out of breath. It was heavy. So I'm not about to go to the commissary. Do I need gas? Nope. Half tank. Okay. Oh my gosh, my lips so dry. And I had a freaking lip gloss in here. Why didn't I use it, dummy? Anywho, yeah, I grabbed my food. Y'all, I bought me some Birkenstocks while I was in there. It's just closing. And I'm so excited because I saw somebody wearing them the other day. And she told me that she got them from the PX. So I'm like, all right, bet if I see them in my size, I'm gonna get them. Because y'all know the sizes with the PX be iffy. But yeah, I ended up grabbing some Mexican corn from Qdoba. 
and I want to try it but uh, oh yes 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 see this is why I keep extra forks and stuff in the car but situations like this okay because y'all I love me some Mexican corn so let's see Mm. it's not what I'm used to but this is good I like corn anyway but mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's good that is really good I should have got more than one I don't know what kind of cream or sauce this is in here. There's like peppers and stuff in it too. And this is just making it just so much better. Oh my God. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Get one more bite. Mm. Mm mm mm. Stop. That's so good. Okay. Let me not do that. I'm gonna mess up this whole car. <clears throat> if I try to eat while I drive. Anywho, I'm about to go ahead and head home. I got a video that I need to finish editing. It's my Why New Soldiers Are Broke video that you guys will see before you see this. I don't know why it's taking me. Look at this corner of my teeth. There we go. I don't know why it's taking me so long to edit that video, but I'm for sure gonna be done with it by today and upload it by today. So. Whenever this drop, you're going to see it. It's going to drop today. But uh, let me get home because I also want to just sit in the bed and do absolutely nothing. Hey, Battle Bays. Welcome to the next day. It is Wednesday. It is about to be 1.30 on a Wednesday. It's actually 13.28 on a Wednesday. And your girl not in uniform. I decided that I wasn't going to be going into work today, even though I'm on leave and I'm not necessarily obligated to go into work i'm still clearing out of the insulation out of my unit stuff like that so obviously i have to be going into work still even though i'm on leave but today i decided that just wasn't going to happen i was just so and i still feel like i'm just so burnt out i just needed a day to catch up in a few of the things that i just really 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 needed to do um honestly i thought i was going to be able to relax a little bit more than i was able to today but yeah the errands and the obligations and the to-do list it is just taking over my entire day i ended up waking up it was like maybe 5 30 this morning because trey still had to go to pt i ended up um laying there for a little bit i think i went to sleep i went to the bathroom i went to sleep for another 30 minutes and then got up and i'm just like i'm bored so i was watching youtube videos i was scrolling just my numbing nonsense that i just so desperately needed in my life for the moment so that was nice um what else i ended up finishing editing the video that was supposed to have went up yesterday but it did not because again y'all burnt out like i am just i'd be so far over it it makes absolutely no sense and i'm just mm, i need it today i need it today so anyway anyway i'm back but i'm low-key here to close down a vlog i finally got my accessories for the camera that i bought the new camera i bought the sony zv1 this baby right here i decided that i'm gonna go ahead and keep it and so because i decided i'm gonna go ahead and keep it um i bought some accessories for it and that was kind of the main focus i guess of this video is to show like the new camera and stuff that i bought now that i finally have all of the accessories to the camera you know what i should have went and got the do i want to go get it yes i do hold on one second okay i'm back i had to run upstairs and grab this little okay is this called a dead cat or the little wind blocker that came with the camera so i went upstairs so i can go ahead and grab that oh okay i see it's like that all right anyway um yeah so i ended up grabbing the rest of the stuff that i got from amazon as well so i'm about to go ahead and just show y'all everything that i got i feel like i showed y'all some of this stuff last night but who knows if i even put that clip in there we'll see 
So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all all the stuff that I got for the camera so I can go ahead and dress the camera up and then get into like the extra stuff. It's only some cases and stuff like that, but get into the extra stuff. So, and I'm doing this right now because I don't want all this stuff left in the car. So while I am sitting in front of the trash can, I can go ahead and throw this stuff out. And I'm also about to be heading to UPS because there's some stuff that I have to return to Amazon. So I might as well check and see if the stuff that I bought from Amazon works. And it's crazy because he caught me right as I was walking out. He caught me right as I was walking out the door and I'm like, are some of those for me? He's like, yeah, hold on. Oh my God. Anywho, um, that is not for the camera. All right, so the first thing I bought for the camera, because obviously um, being in a gym, grocery shopping, just back to school shopping, any of those things that I may need to the, the camera to just be stationary for, I bought this little tripod here. And it just have these um, flexible legs that I can form around whatever it is that I need it to go around so I feel like this is going to go really good for the gym and like when I'm in a grocery store and stuff like that that way I'm not messing around with the camera too much and then if I need the twist obviously this thing here moves around so I like that a lot so that was the first thing this also came with this remote here but honestly like the little bluetooth remote is it if it's not focused the bluetooth remote um that go that goes for a phone i turned it on on accident <laughs> oh the bluetooth remote that goes for a camera but obviously i'm not going to be using that so i bought a case as well for the camera and like the little handheld grip so this is the case hmm. So that's the case that's the little label that's on the zipper it has this red zipper around and the inside looks like that so basically the camera is going to go here oh and that fits perfectly that's that's awesome then this little thing i guess would go there or like a plug or something like that and then the grip is going to go in this piece here perfect oh my gosh that feels so good and this is a hard case so it protects everything in there so i'll be able to put my camera in here just um throw it in my bag or whatever and it's not gonna you know get messed up so i'm excited about that that fits perfectly that's awesome yeah i bought a cover and it also a case and it also came with a screen protector I'm trying to rush so this is the cover I opted for a white cover because I just really like the way it looked on some of my inspo photos and then I have the screen protector here so I'm definitely going to be putting those on as far as the extra things that I ended up buying I bought the uh, screen protector for my phone because the one that I have is all cracked up I ended up buying another cover for my Apple pencil and I got it in pink this time the one I have currently is white but I got it in pink because I also got a um it's probably in here there it is yeah I ended up getting a um a iPad, a case, a, a iPad case, and it's pink. And so I wanted um, the Apple Pencil to match. I really should have got the one that have like the little Apple Pencil slot in it, but I don't feel like it's necessary, but I don't know. Maybe I'll get that next time. But yeah, I got a pink case for my iPad. And then I also got a case for um, my MacBook so it's like this faux leather white leather looking case and i don't even open it yet but if y'all can see that it's really pretty i like the way that looks and then it's just a clear bottom um and then the keypad cover so i like that and then i also bought this um what is it oh this glare <laughs> i also bought this um 
paper feel like paper it says paper like the screen protected that's supposed to feel like paper on my ipad because right now i just have the liquid um glass protector on there which honestly has done me amazingly but when i go to write on it obviously there's a little extra slit when you're writing and i want to try this out to see how paper like it actually feels because i'm back in school now um i got accepted into nursing school so i'm definitely going to be taking a lot of notes and stuff on my ipad because i'm always a paperless student anyway so i'm hoping that this actually does what it is that i need it to do so I got that and then I bought me a phone case and I got this pink-ish phone case and I'm gonna tell y'all right now my favorite color is not pink I just think pink is really pretty so I'm like on a pink kick these days my favorite color is green so I don't know where all this stuff is coming from so yeah it's my case I'm about to go ahead and celebrate the trash but yeah, I'm about to go ahead and um, put all of this stuff on my camera, like the case and at least the glass protector um, on my camera. And then I'm going to come back and then show you guys what it looks like. And then that's going to be the end of the vlog. Okay, give me one second. All right, y'all, I just finished dressing up my camera and it looks so cute. It looks so good. Look at it. Oh. <laughs> So this is my new vlog camera. Ah, I'm a Sony girl now, oh my God. Oh my gosh. But I love this so much. It looks so good. I am so happy with this camera. And yeah, I'm definitely going to be shooting my next vlog on this. So stay tuned. I'm super excited. I'm so, 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 so excited. So yeah yeah anywho that is it for this vlog i'm gonna go ahead and shut it down here if you haven't already make sure you like this video and don't forget to subscribe y'all i'm on a road to 10k by the end of the year and i know i can do it i can at least get close but i am being optimistic that i can do it with your help if this is at least your second video that you're sending me or your second time that you're seeing me go ahead and subscribe and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye